Hey, this is Michael Rosso, Film Photography Project. Today we're going to be talking about the FPP ECN2 Color Negative Development Kit. This kit allows you to develop at home both C41 Color Negative and ECN2 Vision 3 Color Film. I've been personally using this kit for years now, and I just wanted to share with you my techniques of how I get the most out of it. This is step one, mixing your chemistry. To mix your chemistry, my recommendation is to use a square bucket filled with water and a sous vide type heater. This is an immersion heater that is used for sous vide cooking. I always use distilled water when mixing my photochemistry. It's just free of minerals and things that may get in the way of having the absolute best pictures. For the color development kit, you need to heat your chemistry to 106 degrees. I usually set my heater to 110 degrees and it will take some time for the water to heat up and for the water inside the one gallon jug to heat up. Now that our water is heated up, we need your color chemistry kit, pair of scissors, your instructions, the heated one gallon distilled water, and three empty one liter containers. These are available at the FPP for under a buck. To also have some paper towels on hand. It's best to work near water. You know, so do this like in your kitchen or in your basement if you have a uh, sink. So you want to carefully open your chemistry, pack it. Inside your chemistry packet, there will be three separate packets. Developer, your bleach, and your fixer. It's always best to keep your containers organized and separate. You never want to co-mingle this chemistry because they will, generally speaking, cancel each other out. First, put the date. This way you know how old your chemistry is. Developer. Bleach, fixer. First thing you want to do is put some of the heated water into your bottle. I usually put about half. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna start with the developer. Now this is powder chemistry. So what you want to do is try to keep the, the dust cloud to a minimum when you're mixing. You could wear like a, a N95 mask if you want, or just try to, try to keep it as um, dust free as possible. Also, as I mentioned, you don't want to cross contaminate any of this chemistry. You can use a dry funnel for this. If you're feeling risky, you could just, you know, do it this way. Wow. Uh, that went surprisingly well. Now, I've received a lot of emails from folks. You know, they're mixing their chemistry and they're saying, oh, hey, there's clumps in it. You know, uh, I don't know, it's not mixing. The, the important thing is to not rush, to be patient and to not think that you're going to mix the chemistry and then develop your film immediately. Uh, you need to mix your chemistry and then you need to walk away and let that chemistry dissolve for a few hours. We're gonna cap it off to one liter. Sometimes it gets a little foamy. If it gets a little foamy, then just put it aside and wait for the foam to go down and move on to the second step. We're gonna do this for every chemistry packet. Next step is the bleach. And as it states on the package, bleach. And you know, it's bleach, so you don't want to breathe it. Once again, you want to keep the cloud plume to the most minimal possible plume, if any at all. Oh boy. So if you're seeing chunks, what you want to do is like, you know, knead it. So that you break up any big lumps. Looks pretty good. Once again, you could use a dry funnel for this, or if you're feeling very confident, you could do what I'm doing. It's also best to like do this when you have the proper time. If you have friends or loved ones that live with you, send them away. <laughs> you want the time and the space to do this without like children around, pets, a cat. You don't want the cat jumping up on the counter when you're mixing these chem this chemistry. As you can see, it's just sitting on the bottom. You wanna mix that up. I'm going to use our water funnel. I'm calling it our water funnel because this funnel has only touched water. It has not interacted with any photochemistry. I'm going to leave a little space at the top 
for us to uh, come back to that. Again, you also want to keep your cap separate. Like once you use that cap with the bleach and this cap with the developer, you can take your sharp E and do things like D developer, B bleach, or F fixer. This way you don't mix them up along the way. Fixer, terrific. I'm going to cut it. Once again, you could use a dry funnel to pour your chemistry, your dry chemistry into your water. You also could have like multiple funnels. If you were using a funnel for your dry chemistry, you would need to rinse and dry after each step. Always remember, don't co-mingle your photochemistry. And we're going to now pour the fixer powder into our agua. Now, if, it's, if it pours out faster, it will create a cloud plume above your workspace, which you should try to avoid. Cap your fixer F. Give it a nice little mix. Now our task is to top off our chemistry. Before we do that, you wanna give it another little mix. So we have our developer. Top it off to one liter. Now the great thing about these FPP recycled one liter bottles is that, and this is important, whenever you're done with your photochemistry, you want to squeeze, squeeze it so that there's no air. This will really attribute to the longevity of your photochemistry. The less, you don't want a lot of air in your photochemistry because that will oxidize it and make it uh, less effective. So there you go, that's our developer. As you can see, they're, you know, it's not fully mixed yet. It needs like, you know, some time, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bleach, let's top it off. Squeeze out the air to the top. F is for fixer, let's top it off. Squeeze out the excess air, cap it. And we've just finished our first step to your color film development journey. This is the end of step one. Please tune into our next video, step two, where we talk about actual developing and what you'll need for that. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below or send me an email, michael at filmphotographyproject.com. This kit, the FPP Color Negative Kit, is available at the FPP. And we'll see you next video.